hey guys and welcome to a new year hello everyone and welcome to Kimmy's Shine so if you're new here I do Disney themed videos so if you didn't know my channel is actually six years old now so I've been actually been doing this for six years now so um, one of the things that I like to do is obviously pick stuff from the shrine and um, my other videos I do like this one is actually do a haul so uh, yeah let's just get into this so yeah, so over the last couple of weeks, um, me and Ruben have been shopping, so either just by ourselves, or I did actually go visit my dad recently, just after New Year's. So these are some of the things that we've uh, just got on the way. Some of them were in like discounts and sales and things like that. Uh, so the first place we went to uh, was Asda. Now you're probably thinking it's the wrong time of year to get something like this, but uh, Ruben actually kindly bought me this because he knows I like zero from um, A Nightmare Before Christmas. So this is from Asda, and I believe this was actually £10, so that's a little bit more than I'd spent on a cushion though what we did instead he bought me this and then I bought him three Krispy Kremes because they were the Christmas ones and that came to about seven pounds just for those it's kind of like almost a bit even but yeah so this one's actually going to go up in my Halloween range but yeah like I said I, I just love Zero from um, Nightmare Before Christmas so I was actually surprised they still had some Nightmare stuff out because I didn't actually see this when it was Halloween so I don't know whether this is new out or whether I just missed it um because I have said this before that there's two Asda's that we kind of go between so it's one of those things that I don't know whether it was in one Asda or not the other one um, but yeah so that's a, the, the first thing is that one and then another thing from Asda so these were actually in an offer um, two for seven pounds or they are uh, this one's actually says 6 99 and this one says 7 99 so I've not actually read this one to know how true it is to the film I did actually read this one I've not watched the film yet but I've seen obviously quite a lot of trailers I didn't actually finish this book so I don't know how it ends um, unfortunately it didn't really inspire me when I was reading it so I had like I said, I've not seen the film to know the film's any different because uh, at the moment in the UK UK, I think it's only in the cinemas. I was waiting for it to come on Disney Plus. I was actually hoping it would come on Disney Plus around Christmas and it never did. So I did actually read this and I was like, I just kind of read, read it and I was like, you're not really there's nothing about it that's making me want to read it I feel like I was reading it just because like, I had to read it so there was no like enjoyment out of it but like I said I've not seen the film yet to know how true it is so the last nightmare thing that I got again Ruben kind of got me this we actually got this from TK Maxx now again I was a bit reluctant to get this one so um, but Ruben also again kind of got me this um, when we were out shopping the other day uh, so it's £12.99 which again I feel like is a bit too much for what it is but at the same time um, he was like well you don't really have a lot of say clothes with Jack on there especially obviously because it has zero on there as well so and obviously it's a Christmas one as well as a Halloween one so technically I can work around the house or if I'm just going around a friend's house that kind of thing so I can get away with wearing it both times over Christmas or in Halloween so another thing we got from TK Maxx uh, which <laughs> I'd actually heard a theory that they sometimes do lounge flight in TK Maxx, like the actual bags. So we were in there the other day with my dad, and I just thought I'd just look around just to kind of see. Lounge flight, I've not actually got any like bags or things, it's not the kind of thing that I'm actually collecting just because, for one, too expensive, can't afford them, and two, I don't know which one. So someone said, I will get you one. I wouldn't know which one to get, um, but I did hear on TikTok that um, sometimes. Uh, TK Maxx actually has them so we went in there because we was going to TK Maxx anyway so I thought I'd have a look around couldn't see any but then I went into the toy sections but then I saw this instead so I actually prefer this <laughs> so uh, it's actually a princess and the frog uh, bag it was $7.99 like I said it is more designed for kids but for one the price I was like okay that I can get on board with and two I the one thing I don't like about the lounge flight is that they're too small like I like to put loads of stuff in my bag because I'm the kind of person that I like to have any like any like you know for emergency so I like to put like um like a jacket in I like to put like my scarf and gloves my umbrella like for work I have like three water bottles that kind of thing so it's one of those things that the lounge fly bags I'm like okay they're nice but I'm limited as to when I can wear them so something practical I can actually use so I love this one because it had little pockets in the sides for my my drinks like a six um, unfortunately because the water at work isn't very nice so we have to actually bring our own water and because I have two breaks in the day and obviously because I talk a lot for my job it's nice to have a third drink because I do actually get through them um, and then obviously the front bit as well so it's got like a little zip bit there to obviously have some stuff in the front 
pants and then the one thing I loved about this is that when you open the back bit, for one it's structured so it actually has a wire then so it's structured but it also has all these different compartments so it's got like a compartment there as well so put stuff in it has a compartment at the back as well so for me I love the fact it's got compartments because I don't like just having stuff just thrown in my bag and then not having anywhere to like find it so if I'm looking for like my keys or like a pen or my lip gloss at least then I can kind of separate it so I'm actually really excited to um, actually use this for work and I don't really care that it's a kids one like to me I don't care it's not one of those things that I'm like oh I can't wear it because I'm almost 40 I'm like no it's a princess in the frog world I'm thinking oh my god this is amazing like as soon as I saw this I was like okay I'd prefer that over lounge fly like any day so another thing that I got which I had talked about in previous videos is um, Pandora stuff so I've actually done a video based on the Pandora stuff that I have so I will also do close ups on these because um, when I'm filming this Pandora have a sale on but they also release as a new merch for Disney so the first thing I got in the sale which uh, my mother-in-law actually gave me money for so technically she got me this was this tennis bracelet so this was originally £90 I believe and it was down to £65 now I don't actually have a tennis bracelet like I got the bracelet with the charms on but I don't actually have a tennis bracelet and I just thought this was nice and delicate I just thought this was kind of cute it's very subtle Disney so it's not a two in your face Disney the fact it's obviously got the little mini mouse in the middle but I just love the fact that it's obviously a tennis bracelet so it's one of the things that I can wear out and like you're not going to see it's Disney but the thing is obviously it is as well and then my dad gave me money for Christmas and then they recently brought out um, this um, Mickey Mouse bracelet so I already had the safety chain but I didn't actually have a bracelet to put my Disney charms on because I had a different style of bracelet so when they bought this out which I believe was £80 this one um, that's where I want to get it so this one here just has like a Mickey Mouse uh, class opener so what I've actually done is I've actually put the safety chain near the class opener so you've got Mickey Mouse there and then what I've done, I put all my charms right next to it, so I put it either side, so it just makes it so that the actual class open of the Mickey Mouse kind of like blends in with all the other charms. So yeah, like for me, it was really nice obviously to organize them and obviously actually have a bracelet that is a Disney one to put all my Disney charms on. And the fact, like I said, my dad gave me money for, for Christmas, so I kind of used it with that. So but like I said, that was when the new ones they brought out, because they do actually have a new Cinderella range as well, but I already have the old style Cinderella, so I have the, uh, the ring, the charm, and the necklace from the old style so I was like I don't really need Cinderella again so I kind of skipped that that kind of range but yeah when I saw they had a Disney bracelet like a newer one I was like okay I have to get that so speaking of Pandora um, I actually asked for these a while ago because um, I go in there quite frequently so I did actually ask if they're ever thrown any Disney stuff away if I could have it so similar to um, Superdrug when they had that like, the big stands at the um, the things that they used to put like their products I've actually got a few here, I've got a Dalmatian one and I've got a Mulan one and then uh, HMV my mum actually got like a big Simbra Nala on a cutout um, we always ask if they're ever throwing stuff away can we have it? So they actually had these Aladdin stickers so it was literally just the name Aladdin and they had a Jasmine one which they actually had two so I thought well maybe I might put one in the shrine and put one on my car that kind of thing and these were originally bought out some of the Jasmine stuff for example when they bought out the Jasmine ring the new one so that was like a year ago I believe um, yeah they actually had these as promotional but they never used them so um yeah it's like i said when i went in to, to get those they're like oh yeah we've got these for you so um so yes that's one of the things that you know just ask around you just never know because sometimes stuff like this they just get thrown away so it's always good to ask and be like oh when you're not using that because sometimes things like that only last for a certain amount of time like a promotion uh like the three standard units they got like said mulan and um the dalmatian one i think it was only for like a month they were using it and after that they would just throw it out so i was like well can i just have it when you're not using it so speaking of super drug i already had one of these but i couldn't resist getting another one because it was a pound so i've actually started to use one to the point where it's almost empty um so this is actually a bubble bath so this is actually from the mad beauty range but like i said i've already got one of these um which i'm using um so with this one i don't know if i would actually use it because this was only a pound so it was actually reduced down so i was like well because I've already used one, my idea was to use that one and then put the empty bottle in the shrine. But now I've got a full one, do I put this one in the shrine and then throw the other one away? Or do I put the empty one in the shrine and then use this one and then throw this one away? So I haven't actually decided yet. 
So the last place I went to was Primark, so just a little bit of a sneak peek for my next video it would actually be a Primark haul based on one particular theme. So these are the other things that I got from Primark. So the first one I got was actually this one here. Now I already have this, so I actually had this on my phone over Christmas. But what my plan was, was I was thinking actually getting a second one, so that's why I got this one. Because on the back of the stitch, it's just like that. So once it's on my phone, I don't like it when it sits like this. So I did actually say to myself, oh, if I see another one of these, what I'll do, I will then glue them back to back. So that when um, it's on my phone for next year, it's always going to be facing this side. So when it flips over, it's all going to be facing this side. So this actually reduced from £1.50 to um, 50p, so I thought, okay, bargain, because I was going to get it anyway, it's obviously good to get it at a discount. Because, um, yeah, one of the things I like to do in my craft nights is actually make phone charms. It's not anything to like to sell, I think, it's just obviously for, for me. But I really like this one over Christmas, but I just hate the idea of when it was obviously on my phone. It kept on sitting this side, so I was like, oh, I need to get another one, then I can stick them together. So that's the first thing I got. And then I saw this one, which again was reduced down to 50p. I might actually take it apart and make it a little bit more colourful. So this is obviously uh, just Mickey Mouse on there. But originally, like I said, it was £1.50 down to 50p, same as the stick one so I might sort of um, take these apart and put like more colorful ones on because that's why I've got I've got loads of beads and stuff downstairs so um, things that I've used in previous years like for like hair accessories and stuff like that so it's one of the things that I was like okay I can actually modify this and make it a little bit more colorful for my phone but with the fact that it was 50p I was like oh, I'll get this so another thing I saw was this one here which is actually from the Disney 100 range so I'm actually starting to try and collect more stuff from Disney 100 it was just um, at the time when and obviously a lot of stuff were out, it was either too expensive or stuff I didn't want. I'm still finding stuff that I actually like at the moment, but it's still too expensive. So it's a very, very slow process. Um, so that will hopefully be next year where I do a video on all the Disney 100 stuff that I have. Um, but this pen here, which is two pounds, um, I don't think I'm gonna use it because I think it's just so pretty. That if I use it, I might like break it or lose it. So for me, something like this, I was like, okay, it's definitely gonna stay in the shrine. And I do like the idea of keeping the tag on it that says Disney 100. And then the last thing I got from Primark, which we're going with reduced, so there's actually this Encanto uh, water bottle. So this was originally seven pounds down to four. Though it's got another sticker on it, so I feel like it might have been another price before that. Oh no, it does say seven pounds, so it's probably seven pounds reduced down to another price and then reduced down to four pounds on top of that. Um, so this is actually a glitter one, so the actual glitter particles in there do actually move. Um, I don't mind these ones, these are not my favourite ones to use, uh, it's just the fact that I do find that it can get a little bit dirty around the actual straw, like the mouth bit, and actually in the straw they're a little bit more difficult to clean. I do actually have a proper straw cleaner, so I'm still debating whether to use this or not, but the fact is I don't really have a lot of Encanto things, that's one reason I was like, okay, I want it, one, because it's reduced, and two, it'd be nice to have in the shrine. Like, I've got loads of other water bottles I could use instead, um, so it's always nice to have stuff like this in the shrine as backups. I just mainly just want to have it just for the shrine. So yeah, so that was it for my shopping haul. Like I said, my next one's going to be, it is going to be a Primark one again, because uh, when I went to Primark to get this stuff, um, I did actually find some other things once I actually went on the hunt for this particular range and I found loads of stuff I'm thinking oh that would be great to do in just one video so that would be my next one um, but if not already then please like and subscribe and click the bell notification so you get notified when all my other videos go up but yeah that's it I'll see you guys next time later days